what it is, guys. It is your old boy Pilk, and I'm coming at you with more Dokkan Battle. Now, this is a subject we talked about a little bit last week, but I want to elaborate on it a little bit because I think a lot of other YouTubers haven't really talked about this, and it's going to be pretty critical, something you are going to want to know about. Of course, we talked about Extreme Z Awakening coming, okay? We broke the news when we found the, uh, I say, I say we, I have data miners on my Discord that always drop me hype information. We broke the news last week, said this is definitely coming, and there should be a new version of Dokkan with the next update, which it looks like that's what this is. Now, along with this, there's a couple other things you can you can expect. Um, the new version of the, of the potential system should be on that on that update. What is the new version of the potential system? Basically, it allows you to fill in all of the gaps rather than going one at a time. You just click, wait, click. Wait, you can click at the end of a string and it'll fill in everything. Well, okay, everything in that row. And then you got to obviously fill in a few gaps. It's not without its fault, but it is definitely way easier. You can 100% a unit in a couple of minutes rather than 30 or whatever it takes now. It's disgusting what it takes now. But that should be here with this update. Um, obviously, the Extreme Z Awakening coming with this update for the AGL Super Saiyan 3 Goku. So if you guys took my advice last time and you spent your stones on that guy, here he is. Make sure you're ready for this. Takes him up to uh, level 140 and super attack 15. It's like a, uh, I mean, like a super strike on PCP. He's, they're crazy good. Crazy good. So, when is this coming? Says mid-month. My data miners tell me the 15th. Uh, I trust my data miners with their information, so I'm banking on that. Now, what else is coming with that? Well, of course, I talked about the potential system. The one thing you may or may not be, be aware of with the EZA Super Saiyan 3 Goku is the Revi Revive Warriors category does extra damage to him. It's basically what you need once you get above, like, level 25. So, the Int... Uh, Angel Frieza that has been basically in the database for the longest and we've been promising for the longest should finally be here when this drops. So expect him. Um, and that's real. So that is my expectation. If he doesn't drop when we get EZA Goku, it's an absolute crime. Crime. Now, why am I bringing this up now? Well, because... He has a farmable super, but real talk, that is speed rush. That is not what we're after. Uh, let's go to story events, story events. Okay, this, the tournament of power. So if we go all the way down here to the bottom, this is leaving next Sunday, I believe. The 18th, there we are, yeah. This is leaving on a week from Sunday, okay? If Frieza drops on the 15th. That gives you three days to farm his super attack. That's dirty. That is dirty. His super attack is going to be a hell of a grind. Okay? Let's go back and take a look right here real quick. Of course, this is the unit that you farm. Um, he dokons into an SSR, and then you'll need to Zewaken awaken him into a UR. There's two ways you could run it. The intelligent way, in my opinion, is to farm up nine of the freezes okay you'll have to dokkan awaken them well z awaken them to ssr dokkan awaken them back to ssr and then z awaken them to ur okay that gives you a hundred percent chance at the base ssr gold or er, golden freezer that we're getting gives you a chance at his super attack all right hundred percent chance if it's if it's ur fifty percent chance if it's ssr now why do I say do the UR? Well, it is a 2 million zenny extra investment. But you also need 20 medals per, uh, per Frieza unit. So 180 medals versus 360. I mean, the medals... And when you're running the medals, the thing we discovered tonight on stream, guys, real talk. Let's go look at this real fast, okay? Obviously, level 10 here is where you farm up the Frieza's. Just farm up nine of them. It's a pretty easy farm, real talk. It should take you a stamina run to get nine of them, okay? Depending on where your stamina is at. I'm assuming your stamina is somewhere around 150-ish. 
So, 10 runs. Well, okay, it may, it may take a little more than that. You'll get two every once in a while. You get zero every once in a while, but... Uh, a stamina run and then some. Let's just say that, all right? Now, then you come up here to level 11. Now, it's tempting... Oh, see, I'm, I'm over one because I had too many freezes. Okay? It is tempting to run the 15 stam. All right, I'll go back in here since I can't go into that event. I wasn't aware of that, but I got too many freezes. First world problems, okay? Now, you'll notice here it says that stage one will drop one. Based on the drop rate, stage one will drop one every single time. Stage two will drop between one and two, all right? And if you're running your Revived Warriors uh, category uh, team, I'm sorry, not Revived Warriors, I'm sorry, Tournament of Power category team, that adds a certain percentage, kind of like just your dailies do, like with, um, you know, the World Tournament and the uh, Master Roshi event. So, run a Tournament of Power team, you will basically get, as, as long as you have minimum 100% or at least close, you should be getting two uh, medals every single run at the normal stamina at the 8 stam, okay? At the 15 stam, you could get between 2 and 4. Maybe a little more if you have a higher than 100%. 100%, but let's do the math. You could, you're guaranteed 2 at 8 stam. You could get between 2 and 4 at 15 stam. Run the 8 stam. Real talk. Same amount of stamina, a little bit longer grind, but same amount of stamina for uh, guaranteed equivalent for reward. That's just real. That's real. Um, and it's going to be an easy grind anyway. You could thrash it with even a scrub tournament power team because the units are going to be so cheap. They're going to be, you know, so, uh, I say cheap, low on health, low on level. So if you're on the 15th stand with a scrub team, you got a little bit of a grind. So it actually might even equate out depending upon the team you build. Don't know. Doesn't really matter. The fact of the matter is farm up nine freezes, get 180 medals. You have a, like a week to make this happen. A little more than a week to make it happen. So I'm bringing this to you now so you know what to prepare for and you know how to start the grind. Okay? Easy farm for the super attack. And then do your daily zenny farm. You should have plenty of zenny to do the awakenings once they all come to light. Um, you got a week, guys. Week and a half, really. You've got until the 18th. Plenty of time to grind. Go for it. Uh, that's if you're pulling on the Frieza banner. Um, uh, we'll talk about the banner in a separate video. It's a whole other kettle of fish. I really want to talk about the farm more than anything else today. And the other thing I wanted to tell you, and I do have a damage test coming of these guys. Um, farm up the Angel Frieza anyway. If you are free to play especially, and make sure you farm up Angel Goku. Angel Goku. I'm sorry, Angel Goku. Jesus, it's late. Ultra Instant Goku. He is awesome. I 100% in mind. I will bring you guys in a damage test as soon as I finish him up. He's fantastic. Mine's 100%. I just need to level him up a little higher and do a little more testing with his teams. But I will bring you a damage test on him shortly. Along with Urine once I get her 100% because her drop rates drive me crazy. And Angel Frieza once I finish him. So, guys, lots coming on this. This is such a great tournament. And farm your Kashin because let's go to the treasures. I haven't farmed any of mine up. And I desperately need to before it goes away. Those are the radishes. Three Elder Kai's in there, guys. Three Elder Kai's in there. Real talk. So, do your farming. Uh, it's going to keep you busy. It's going to keep you busy. But aside from the radishes, there's not much of anything else right now that's worth farming. Unless you're after the, um, uh, the Int Trunks. And we'll talk about him as well coming up in another video. Um, he's going away this weekend. Just be aware of that. All right, guys. That pretty much is the, this video. You know what to prepare for. You know what's going on. We'll talk about Frieza in a later video. Is he worth? Is he not worth? What's going to be on his banner? All that. Expect to see that in the next 24 hours. Other than that, guys, 
get to farming. If you have any questions, comment in the comment section below. Hit me up on the Birdman or the Booker. That's, of course, uh, Twitter and Facebook. And I will lay your ass out with some more crazy hype info next time.